How does the weather affect baseball players on hot, muggy days with afternoon thunder showers? What about cold days with wind? And how much of a difference does high altitude make if you play baseball in Mexico City, which is 7,000 feet above sea level? Is the impact significantly greater than in a city like Denver at 5,000 feet? These are the kinds of topics I'll cover in this video, as well as some of the strategies teams and players use to deal with the cold, rain, wind, and altitude. Let's talk about weather and the environment in professional baseball. Cold temperatures cause muscles to tighten, making fast, explosive movements harder for players. Pitchers and hitters may struggle to grip the ball or bat in the cold, which can lead to difficulty throwing or swinging at the plate. Pitchers benefit more than hitters from cold, dense air, because that dense air increases drag on objects. It adds movement to breaking pitches and helps fly balls stay inside of the ballpark. Home run rates and overall scoring will decrease in games below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, while scoring goes up measurably as the temperature rises. When teams are facing a stretch of cold weather conditions, it may be wise to adopt a small ball strategy. Wind is one of the most dynamic factors in baseball. It's unpredictable and can dramatically alter gameplay and scoring outcomes. Open stadiums like Wrigley Field and Oracle Park are famous for days when fly balls either sail out or get held in by shifting gusts. Winds blowing out or away from home plate generally help hitters and increase home run totals. Conversely, winds blowing in or from center field suppress offense and give pitchers an edge. Defensively, wind creates extra challenges. Outfielders may misjudge fly balls and pop-ups. Pitchers may benefit from tailwinds that add velocity or movement, but crosswinds can disrupt pitch location. In short, teams and players have to be adaptable because wind can turn a hitter's park into a pitcher's haven or reverse the script entirely. Rainy days see more walks, fewer strikeouts, and slightly more runs scored. Rain affects visibility, grip, and can make it difficult for players to run and field in slippery conditions. But one of the most important impacts of heavy rains are delays and cancellations because they disrupt team schedules, player rhythms, and overall momentum. Rainouts can lead to doubleheaders affecting bullpen strategies and pitcher availability for subsequent games. And what about a starting pitcher who is dominating hitters one after another and then will not return to the mound because of a long rain delay. Even short delays impact outcomes by providing teams with the time to rest and reset. In Game 7 of the 2016 World Series, the score was tied 6-6 six to six after nine dramatic innings, with the Cleveland Indians seeming to have the edge after coming from behind to tie the game up. The 17-minute rain delay provided time for Cubs outfielder Jason Hayward to give an impassioned speech to teammates, and they went on to score and win the franchise's first World Series since 1908. Sometimes a rain delay is just what the doctor ordered. Passengers arriving to Denver or Albuquerque typically feel the effects of altitude right away, with lower oxygen levels resulting in dry mouth, shortness of breath, and dehydration before the acclimatization process begins. At 5,000 feet of elevation, batted baseballs experience less air resistance and travel approximately 10% further than they would at sea level. In other words, a ball traveling 400 feet in Baltimore or New York would travel 440 feet in Denver. Ever since Coors Field opened in 1995, there have been significantly more extra base hits than in any other Major League ballpark due to its spacious playing field and thin air. Light air at higher elevations lessens the movement of breaking pitches, so pitchers and catchers adapt by relying on fewer curveballs and sliders. But hitters know that and expect to see a steady stream of heat. The result is longer, higher scoring games and bloated ERAs. 
To counteract the effects of altitude, the Rockies started humidifying their baseballs, which can somewhat mitigate the effects of altitude. But when it comes to drafting pitchers, they will always prefer guys with control over pitch location because movement matters less in Denver. Now, professional baseball in several different Latin American cities is even more extreme than any part of the United States due to elevation. Mexico City is 2,000 feet higher than Denver. So whenever MLB stages exhibition games there, it's destined to be a slugfest. Fly balls become home runs and hitters feast on what is offered by opposing pitchers. Nelson Cruz said, it's like playing in Colorado, I'd say, but double or triple the effect. The negative part is that you get tired more quickly. Fatigue sets in fast. Indeed, players arriving from sea level to cities like Puebla and Mexico City will feel the effects of altitude, while any acclimatized athletes are destined to enjoy a certain advantage. The intense heat of desert regions can lead to increased offense because hot, dry air is less dense and batted balls travel farther in it. But extreme heat has other effects too. It's uncomfortable, it's exhausting, and it can negatively impact performance. 115 degrees is not an optimal temperature for playing any sport. For these reasons, Chase Field in Phoenix has a retractable roof, and other climate control features. The AAA Las Vegas Aviators have made sure there are hydration stations at the ballpark, shade for spectators, and the team doesn't schedule day games in July or August. With a new Major League Stadium coming to Las Vegas, you can be sure its designers have considered how best to deal with the desert climate for both spectators and those on the playing field. Wrapping up, most major leaguers would probably tell you that a warm day at sea level is the best climate for baseball. That's when one's muscles are relaxed and ready for sudden explosive exertion. Pitchers see better movement on their breaking balls, and batters can expect plenty of pop off the bat. No one is excited about bitter cold or strong, unpredictable winds, while rain delays might be seen as a mixed bag, sometimes harmful, sometimes a blessing in disguise. Hey, this was a fun one to assemble. I'm sure I missed a few things about climate and environmental impacts on baseball. So let me know what I missed or got wrong in the comments. And thanks for watching.